we're so glad that you're here with us today. We're going to have a little different type of service today, so I would like to just welcome you to our church and thank you for being here today. And I just want to give you a couple of announcements that's going to be coming up in the next couple of weeks so that you know what's going on here at the church. So as we take uh, an offering at the end of the service today, I just want to remind you that you can always give online here at the church. As we talk about prayer every Tuesday night at um, 7 o'clock, you can um, come to prayer time, corporate prayer time with us. It's for one hour. Um, right now we're doing membership classes here at the church. So if you're interested in being a member of our church and are not that yet, so they have a class after this service for anyone who comes to our first service. And there's a couple other classes options uh, there for you. There's the prayer meeting that I was talking about on 7 where we have corporate prayer. We pray, pray for the request um, of the church. And obviously the community will be part of that this week. On Wednesday this week, we're having an Ash Wednesday service. Um, a little dinner and devotional to be here from 6 to 7 o'clock. And so we invite the whole church to be part of that. And in the next couple of weekends, we're going to have church elections here at the church. Um, if you're not um, running for any of the boards or things going on here at the church, I just want to ask that you um, pray for our church and the leadership of our church that will be um, voted in and making decisions for our church in the year 2018. So we've got these things going on here at the church. Um, keep praying for those. Look out for everything that's going on. But here's one other thing that's coming up soon is for our teenagers are doing a um, totally rad 80s prom gone bad. And this is like a dinner theater theme and and really as far as i understand is that you're supposed to dress up like 80s prom and come to this i mean sign up online um it's ten dollars i think and it's a it's a dinner and it's gonna be lots of fun uh, to be part of but don't make me be the only one dressed up um, in the attire during that that time and that dinner and i want to invite everybody to come and be part of that it's gonna be a really great night together and the teens are going to do a great job to raise some money. You can always follow us on Facebook and Twitter and, and Instagram for any information that's going on here at the church. that is known for your presence again oh God take us back nothing and no one comes close to you nothing could ever come close nothing and no one it's you and you
much that is known. Your presence again, oh God, take us several weeks ago that our our series on prayer was coming to a close and uh, we wanted to have a special prayer service at the end of this series of messages on prayer. Uh, Of course, what we did not know was that uh, we would experience a tragedy like what took place here in our community uh, yesterday. And uh, so before we begin our prayer service, we do want to take time today just to Pray for the families of the slain officers and pray for our um, police officers in our community. Um, Adriana Mello and her boys are here, and I've asked them if they would come to the front to represent um, the families of the officers. You may be aware that uh, Adriana is, um, her husband and the boy's dad, Raul, is uh, a police officer. We also have others here in the church who have uh, children or family members who um, serve as police officers, uh, not in Westerville, but in other communities. Adriana, if you want to come at this time and if the boys want to join you. And I'd just like to ask everybody that is able to come today just uh, to come up and gather around them. want to put your hand on the shoulder of the person in front of you, eventually that will reach this family. Father, we certainly didn't be uh, expect to be praying for this today in this prayer service. Our community is shaken, our feelings are all over the place. We don't know what to say. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to pray. Your word tells us that when we don't know how to pray, your Holy Spirit intercedes on our behalf. So we ask that that would happen today, Lord. We're thankful for the Mello family, the Chapeliers and others who have family members who uh, understand what these families are experiencing. And we just lift them up before you today. Officer Eric, for Officer Anthony's families, Lord, we just lift them to you today. We may or may not know them, but you know them, Lord. We just pray that you would give peace that goes beyond their own understanding. Help them to sense your presence today, God. 
Father, we pray for these other police officers who are just, they're just broken, Lord, today. We don't pretend to understand, Lord, what they're going through. pray, God, that they would sense your arms of love and peace surrounding them today, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that this community would look to you, Father, that we would understand that when we surrender to your Lordship, that you are in control and you are a sovereign God. I just pray for our city today pray for these families. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We've intentionally created a, a service that's very different today, and uh, for this service, uh, you were given some index cards as you came in this morning, and uh, if any of you did not get some index cards, if you just want to put your hand up, um, Dave would bring that to you and something to write with. We'll be using those index cards throughout the service today, and uh, the first index card that I want us to use is the pink index card. If you'll find that in your packet there and your, take your pencil. As, uh, as we sing today, I want you just to, uh, to write down some various names of God on that index card. And as we fill these out, uh, you won't be putting your name on them. Nobody else will be reading them. We will have an opportunity at the end of the service to bring those up and just to lay those on the altar. But uh, just some of the different names of God, if you're struggling with that, you're welcome to, to look in the scriptures or to, uh, to use your phones and your social media to find different names of God. to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses and the voice I hear falling on my ear the Son of God discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever me and 
and he talks with me and he tells me I am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever But he bids me go through the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me that I am his own, and the joy we share. Our second index card that we're going to use today uh, is our blue index card. And this is a card that I just want you to use today to write down uh, things for which you're thankful, um, the many, many blessings that the Lord has given to each one of us. Um, maybe you want to write down a specific person or something uh, that you have. Uh, I gave some examples there. And, just as we uh, just kind of take some quietness today, fill those out. Um, let the Lord know the things for which you're thankful today.
as you finish up your blue card today, uh, our next card that we're going to use is our, our green card. On this card, I uh, want to just write down our, our personal concerns, our personal burdens that we bring in with us today, maybe something that we're worried about. Maybe a, some type of a broken relationship or something that we carried with us into the building today and a burden that's heavy on our hearts. Just take some time today to, to write some of those down and uh, list those before. is 
Our fourth, fourth card today is the uh, yellow index card, and this is intercession, praying for others and uh, the needs of others. And certainly, we again want to remember our uh, fallen police officers and their families as a part of that. But let's just take some time today and and uh, fill out that final card, um, praying for others. this time we just want to uh, open up the altars and uh, you can come and and kneel at this time and pray um, you can come to the front and just lay your index cards on the altar um, and return to your seats uh, anything that you would like to do at this point in the service is acceptable but we are opening the altars and if you would want to bring those index cards down and just lay them on the altar, you can do that. You can stay and pray. Just taking some time to pray today. Father, as Cheryl plays through the, the hymn today, Lord, I think of the words. We need you, oh, we need you. Every hour, we need you. And how true that is today, Lord. We're so thankful, Father, that you have taught us to pray. As we've looked at the into your word these past several weeks, Lord Jesus. 
we've learned more about what it means to pray, to be in communication with you, Lord. We've learned that it's a, it's a very big deal. It's not just kind of a big deal, but it's a very big deal. Our conversation, our communication, our interaction with our Heavenly Father. We're so thankful, Lord, for this series of messages that has reminded us that we do need you, Lord. We certainly thank you for the privilege of being able to come before you, God. And we worship you today, Father. You alone are worthy as we think of your names, Lord, hundreds of names throughout your word. Think of the words of the prophet Isaiah when he described you as wonderful and counselor. King of kings and Lord of lords. We know you were called the son of man. You were called the son of God. You were called the son of David. The alpha, the omega, the beginning, the end. Redeemer, Savior. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that your word even tells us that you were called our friend. And we can say today, again with the songwriter, what a friend we have in you, Lord Jesus. For that we are grateful. We're a grateful people as we come before you today, Lord. times of tragedy, we, we become more thankful for our family and our loved ones. In times of tragedy, we, we become more grateful for our community and our friends and our neighbors. We thank you, Lord, for the many, many blessings that you have given to each one of us, for the freedoms that we have. before you our, our burdens, Lord, our concerns as we wrote those down today, you know, you know the things that we carry with us, Lord, the things that weigh heavily on our shoulders and things that we worry about, Lord, and we surrender those to you today as well, Lord. We symbolically lay those on your altar today, Lord. Whether it be a financial need, whether we're concerned about a job, whether we have a broken relationship, broken marriage. Whatever our struggles, whatever our concerns, whatever our things that are bothering us today, Lord. We lay those at your feet today. thank you, Lord, that you tell us that your, your load is light and you can carry our load as well. Your burden is light, Lord. You've called us to come to you when we're weary, when we're burdened, Lord, and that's what we bring to you today, our personal burdens and our concerns, but we don't stop at our own, Lord. We, we also intercede on the behalf of others, Lord. There are so many who are sick right now, Lord, in our own body of Christ here at the, at, in, in Westerville, Lord. There's so much flu and sickness, Lord. There are also people who are struggling with terminal illness, Lord. All of us know somebody who is struggling with cancer right now, Lord. We bring those needs to you. We intercede on behalf of those individuals. We intercede on behalf of those who do not know you as Savior and Lord today. 
Again, Father, we intercede on behalf of our slain officers and their families, our police department and our city officials, our leaders, Lord, in our nation and in our community. We think of those, Lord, in other parts of the world, even uh, some of our own, Lord, who are serving in other areas. We intercede on their behalf today. We think of our brothers and sisters in Christ in the Dominican Republic, Panama, Lord, and throughout the world as they're meeting together today and worshiping. We intercede on their behalf as well. We're thankful, Lord, that we can bring these needs and these concerns before you. Father, I just pray a blessing on this congregation in the first service, Lord. I just ask, God, that you would bless them with your presence. Bless us with your the knowledge, Lord, that you are with us. Bless us in the challenges in the week ahead, Lord. We pray all these things in your name, our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Before we dismiss today, I'd like to invite Jeff to come forward. And every week we pass out a black book that, that we ask that you just sign and pass down your aisle. And uh, you can take advantage of sharing that prayer request, maybe that you had today, that burden that you had, so that uh, we can pray for that on Tuesday. But we're going to take our our tithes and offerings today, just as a another way of our worship, where we can just give thanks to the way God takes care of us on a regular basis. So let's pray for those once again before we leave today. Dear Jesus, we thank you for the service, the, the quiet time and the time to connect and to maybe cry out to you today, dear Jesus. One of the most thankful things that we have, dear Jesus, is this, this building, this place of worship that you provided for us. And then it goes on down the road to where we have this home where we have heat and, and clean water and we're just a thankful people today, dear Jesus, and we have that because you provide. And when you provide for us, dear Father, we recognize you by being generous and giving back. Dear Jesus, may we not indulge and take only for ourselves, but may we, we give and, and recognize what you give us and tithe and, and be generous so that others may experience the same thing. We thank you, Jesus, for the way that you provide for this church and each one of our families. We pray for our tithes and offerings today in your name. Amen. where I've worn your name show me the love I say I believe oh, help me to lay it down oh Lord I lay it down oh let this be
and for all. And thank you. God bless you. Go in peace today.